Today, we're going to look at a stupid Australian flat earther whose efforts to prove the flat earth actually prove the globe. Today, a flat earther is going to use what he says is the number one globe earth proof to debunk the globe. Let's see if he can, or if he's just going to get busted into tiny little pieces. Before we do, quick thanks to my amazing patrons. With massive thanks to all my patrons, including new patrons Jeff Plessier, Andy Sibley, Crispy Bacon, D Pep, Globe Mom, Cy Allen, and Suferic and my latest patrons, Gemini Luna and Jason Blackford. Thank you all so very much. Oh yes, it's our old friend, Mitchell from Australia. And he's, I'm gonna to have to fix that. He's going to try and bust the globe using globe proof. And I've got a feeling he's going to fail miserably. So Mitch, recently you've just been mirroring crap from other sites. It's a great pleasure that you're producing your own crap again. Roll VT. I'm Mitchell from Australia. And I'm Mr. Sensible from not Australia. And being from Australia, I get called the dumbest of the dumb flat earthers. Australia is a fine country with fine people. But as for Australian flat earthers, it's true. It does take a special kind of stupid. This is because the Globers say that southern star rotation debunks the flat Earth. Well, that would be because southern star rotation debunks the flat Earth. But this argument is going to be your downfall, Globe believers. I think not. I think that this video of yours may be your downfall. Because on your model, stars aren't actually rotating, are they? No, stars aren't actually rotating. It's the Earth rotating underneath the stars. I think she's got it. I think she's got it. By George, she's got it. By George, she's got it. And you asserting that you're on that rotating Earth, looking up at the stars, making the stars appear to be rotating, not actually rotating. Yes, Mitch. As the Earth rotates, it makes the stars appear as though they are rotating. Just like this demonstration of a drone leaving the rotating reference frame of a roundabout. We all know where this is going. Mitch, were you an international student of the Daniel Pratt School of Stupidity? From the rotating reference frame, it appears that the drone is deviating. But as we can see, the drone just goes up and hovers. It doesn't go anywhere. That's right, Mitch. From the viewer on the roundabout, the camera, it does appear as though everything is rotating above you. Everything is rotating counterclockwise around a point that's just off the top of the camera. This would be the equivalent to the point somewhere near Polaris that the stars appear to rotate round. This is an apparent deviation. And this is what Globers will tell you is happening when you see stars rotating in the sky. That's right, and I did just tell you that. But what this also demonstrates is what we observe from the inertial reference frame while looking at another thing in the inertial reference frame. Yes, you are stood outside of the rotating reference frame looking at another object that is also outside of the rotating reference frame just like those houses and the fencing and so on. So they all look stationary to you. This drone is in the inertial reference frame and the camera looking at the drone and the roundabout is also in the inertial reference frame. So as you can see, when viewing something else in the inertial reference frame from the inertial reference frame, the drone is no longer appearing to move. That's just what I said. So let's take another look at the stars, and this time 
we're going to leave the asserted rotating reference frame of the Earth. Well, Mitch, I didn't realise that your budget would extend to launching from the Earth and going beyond Earth orbit. And enter the inertial reference frame above the Earth. This is so exciting. These stars are already in the inertial reference frame. So when we view from the drone... Hold on a second, Captain Flurf. You can't leave the reference frame of the Earth in a drone. Entering the inertial reference frame, the stars should not move. Just like when we see the drone in the inertial reference frame, it does not move. Look, if you actually do leave the rotating reference frame of the Earth, then those stars will not appear to move. Only you haven't left the rotating reference frame of the Earth, have you, Mitch? But we still see the stars moving. Yes, because you're still rotating. Have you realised the implication of this, Globus? Yes, your Dunning-Kruger effect offering has given me excellent material for tonight's video. The stars are the things that are actually moving, not the Earth underneath it. According to this theory you've just pulled from your butt, not only the Sun and the Moon and all the planets, but all the stars would have to be rotating around us. That also includes all the galaxies, including the furthest galaxy, which is 13.26 billion light years away, which means in a 24 hour period, it would have to race around a circle that's 83.32 billion light years long. I call bullshit. If it were actually Earth rotation, making the stars appear to rotate, then when we leave the spinning Earth, we wouldn't see this. The stars should stay still, but yet they keep spinning. The only humans who have ever left the Earth's reference frame are the Apollo astronauts, nobody else. But this also applies to all celestial bodies because you ballers assert that the sun sets and rises also due to Earth rotation. Yes, Mitch, that's because the sun sets and rises due to the Earth's rotation. So let's view the sun from the inertial reference frame. The drone has left the rotating reference frame of the Earth. Just no. But yet, the sun still appears to set. Yes, it appears to set because the Earth, the atmosphere and your drone are all rotating away from it until the point where it gets hidden behind the curve. We go up again and the sun sets again. A, a, a pardon? We go up again and the sun sets again. Mitch, I just cannot believe that you've just posted that. This is not caused by Earth rotation. What you're witnessing is two effects there, Mitch. The first is the fact that the sun is setting as you rotate away from it. And the second is when the drone goes higher, it can look further around the curve and see the sun again. Just think, Mitch, if the Earth is flat and the sun is setting because it's gone too far away, why on Earth would going up a little higher enable you to see it again? You have just busted flat Earth twice in about 10 seconds. You bloody idiot. Because the Earth is not actually rotating. It is the sun that is moving. And this observation absolutely demolishes Earth rotation. No, Mitch, it does not demolish it. What it does do is it demonstrates that you have such a lack of knowledge and understanding that you actually have just posted two very good proofs of a rotating globe Earth and try to use it to prove a flat Earth. This is going to be a hard one for you ballers to digest. Because these are your arguments of star rotations and sunsets debunking your own assertion of Earth spinning. Mitch, if you're able to demonstrate actually leaving the reference frame of the Earth, going to the inertial reference frame, and then showing that the stars still rotate, then you've won. Unfortunately, 
you haven't. Anyway, we need to go back to the top of the show when you explain why people call you stupid. Why was that, Mitch? This is because the Globers say that Southern Star Rotation debunks the flat Earth. That's right. And what is it that you have not even attempted to tackle in this video? The Southern Star Rotation. So let's go back to your roundabout video. Remember, we've got the camera, the observer, on the roundabout, the rotating reference frame, looking at the stars and everything else above. We can see everything rotating, so let's add some lines of rotation, just to make it clear. In your video, everything is rotating counterclockwise around the point of axial rotation. It makes a little circle around it. As you get further and further away from that point of rotation, the circles get larger and larger, until eventually you would look horizontal when everything moves from left to right in a straight line. That would be directly above the equator. In the northern hemisphere, those circles are centred pretty closely to the pole star, Polaris. But in the southern hemisphere, there's something else, isn't there, Mitch? Something different. And that is, as you look further south, the stars are rotating in the opposite direction around a second point of rotation, somewhere near Sigma Octantis. Actually, Mitch, your roundabout is a pretty good model for the flat Earth. The problem comes when you try to view the small circles moving in the opposite direction, because they would be located around the point of rotation of the roundabout beneath your feet. Mitch, your video is quite precious. Firstly, you debunked the flat Earth by showing a sunset, which cannot happen on a flat Earth. You then debunked the flat Earth a second time by raising the drone so that you could see further around the curve to witness the sunset a second time. And finally, you have mentioned stellar rotation, which debunks the flat Earth. Now, Mitch, you live in Australia. You can go outside at night and look at the stars rotating around Sigma Octantis. That's the second point of stellar rotation in the night sky. Now, as your roundabout video shows, that second point should be beneath the flat Earth, and yet you can see it. That is why two points of stellar rotation in the night sky debunk the flat Earth. Now, I don't know if it's anything to do with the... Um, Mandela effect. Mandela effect. Mandela effect. But I seem to recall that we've been here before. But so this is still, being... you're keeping away from stars, Mitch. I want to hold you to that. There's still no explanation for yep. two rotation points in the sky. Because my, yeah, I'll, I don't have an explanation for two rotation points okay. in the sky. Okay. That's yeah, I'll, I don't have an explanation for two rotation points okay. in the sky. Okay. That's yeah, I'll, I don't have an explanation for two rotation points okay. in the sky. Okay. That's yeah, I'll, I don't have an explanation for two rotation points okay. in the sky. Okay. Okay. That's Mitch, you have busted the flat Earth three times in one video. You present more evidence for a globe Earth than most flat Earth debunkers. You have demonstrated why people say that Australian flat earthers are a particularly special kind of stupid. Your work is done here, Mitch. You are totally busted. Until next time, stay sensible. Shut up and sit down.